Hello everyone, uh, this is your online assignment tutor. A question was brought to, to me, uh, it's a physics question, and uh, I want us to look at it together. But uh, before we go into the question, please, I want you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, and uh, so that when I draw questions like this, you'll be the first to actually see it. Um, let's solve the question. He said, A man rides on a bicycle from A to B. Now, don't rush. You know why you should not rush? Because if you do, if you rush, you will not get, you will not be able to interpret the question well. And if you cannot interpret the question well, you cannot get the answer. Now, from here to be at the speed of 20 km per hour, the, the man move A to B. It will be at what speed of what of 20 km per hour. Let's say it cover distance D. Let's say cover distance D. Let's call it distance D at that speed. And this the question now said and B to C at the speed of what 30 km per hour. A to B at the speed of what? 30 km per hour. He also covered the same distance. That's the same distance D. Because uh, the, this, the, the speed the speed of each journey is change. What is expected to change is that this 20 km per hour is going to have its own time. That is T1. Let's call it T1. And this, this from B to C it's going to have its own time. That is what T2. Sorry, this is B to C, not B to C. Let me write it away. B to C. You get it? Means. So this um, speed changes. So it is going to be different time. T1 and what? T2. But they cover the same distance. So let's now say total distance. For whole the journey will be D plus D. That is what two D. Let's keep this one somewhere. We are going to make use of it. Now, because of they have different time, you know that um speed is called to what distance over what time. Therefore, time will be called to what distance over what speed. So the T one. For A to B as a speed of 20 km, therefore to be D over 20. That is the time it cover from A to what B. Then T2, which is B to C, has a speed of 30 km per hour. So it covers it with D over what 30. 30. That is from B to what? see are you getting it so therefore therefore our total our average speed will be equal to total distance total distance over what total time so what is the total distance recover re recall i said total distance was d plus d so you have d plus d over this d plus d over total total time so total time will be what t1 plus t2 t1 plus t2 so average speed for the journey so average speed will be equals to d plus that is 2d over what is t1 recall you have d over 20 d over 20 what is t2 we call d over 30 d over d over 30 so therefore you have 2d over what is the same of this that is what 60 60 in 20 3 3 times d that is 3d plus 60 in 30 2 2 times d that is 2d so you have 2d 
over 3d plus 2d that is 5d over 60. so if you do your mathematics you can say 2d times you know this division when times come this one will come up while this one will go down so when times come this one will come up why this one will go down so you have 2d times 60 over 5d so d cancel d so 5 year 1 5 years 12 so 12 times 2 so the average speed for the journey is what 2 times 12 that is 24 kilometer per hour so that is the average speed for the whole journey. So the answer is what 24 kilometer per hour. So you can follow through to the video and you know um still lay your hands on the questions and still go through it for revision. So um I remain your online assignment tutor. Bye bye for now. You can remember hit the like button, share this video, let you to recommend it to as many as as many people as uh, wants to gain from it. Then I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.